Nicole and I have arrived in California. We're at Coronado Beach. We are at Coronado Beach. It's a pickup, a 92 GTI. It is, uh, it is currently sitting at a towing truck company's location. She is you. It's got all the parts in the back. Dash is taken apart. All kinds of patina. Wheels a little bent out of shape here. Hopefully the grill is in the back seat. These guys were great. George over here definitely hooked us up. We have a uh, long hauler picking it up tomorrow. And it is going to be the Syncaster Motorsports car that we're going to modify. Now we'll see you out on the East Coast. E-brake works. <laughs> there we go. Step one. So, so Cole found this car. Looked all over the place. They are super hard to find. Super oh, hard. Oh yeah. To find. Oh yeah. So I said, so I said to to Cole, I said, look, you know. Do, do some hunting, try to find a, a 90 to 92 GTI. And so he ends up finding this one in California on offer up. Made an offer on it, right? Yep. Full price that offer. And the guy says to me, he says, why would you come all the way from, from New Hampshire to California for a $1,500 car? And so I kind of briefly explained, you know, what I, what I wanted to do with it. And, I, and he's like, sketchy. I'm like, no, not sketchy. I'm like, FaceTime me, not giving you my number. I'll have I'll have my wife Facebook you. I'm not giving you my Facebook. And then so I started upping upping the ante. So I'm like, all right, I'll give you an extra five hundred dollars. And he's like, nope. And I'm like, all right, another five hundred dollars. Nope. I'm like, I'm like, look, do you have Venmo? Yes, I have Venmo. All right, give me your Venmo, and I'll uh, and I'll Venmo you half the payment, and then give you the other half when I get out there. Nope, not giving you my Venmo. I'm like, dude, I can't steal anything from your Venmo. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like I, don't, I don't even have the car yet. You know what I mean? Yeah. This guy, this guy is flaking out on me. He doesn't believe me. He thinks I'm sketchy. I've, I've got a really good friend, Chris. And Chris and I worked with him like 20 years ago. His name's Mike Novick. So I reached out to him because he's in San Diego. This thing was in Escondido. Like, I think he's just more afraid of of me. You know, like being a scam artist or something. So, so I said, I said, call him up and offer him 1,200 bucks. He took it. He took he took it for 1,200 bucks. Mike went over there that day, bought the car, you know, paid paid in cash, bought the car, coordinated a tow truck. I ended up paying Mike the twenty five hundred bucks for all of his trouble. You know what I mean? And, 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 and he totally went. He went way over the top, you know, to get the vehicle and all of that sort of stuff. I mean, last minute because I was so afraid of losing it. Couldn't get anybody to get it to take it because of look, you know, how do you get it on the truck? So this guy finally took the job to, to come and get it. GS Transport. The whole crew at the shop, they ended up having to push the thing onto onto the, the truck and then and then ratchet it up to get oh, that's what the ratchet strap was for. Oh, nice. So definitely have to give those guys a shout out because they were yeah. awesome. Yeah. Now, how you gonna squeeze 
an LS7 motor in Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Where are we fitting an LS7 <laughs> in this thing? Like, you only need a shoehorn. You only need a big shoehorn. Shoehorn, yeah. <laughs> small block, small block Chevy only takes up that much room. Hell yeah. I got some muscle. Somebody's so. gonna be, gonna need some muscle for that. Speed. You're gonna need some muscle. Oh, we're losing the wheel. Yep, straighten it out. We'll go. The lift the front and push her back. Oh, the, the, the little ball joint has to be yeah, attached. <laughs> oh, the fuck. oh, it's right there. Hold on, I'm gonna. Put the stunt driver in exactly. <laughs> yeah, right into the parking lot. Oh yeah. Um, so I have the the green one. I have the green 92 GTI. Where's that one? It's sitting over in Chichester right now. Does that one easier to move than that one? <laughs> You'll have to see it yourself. <laughs> you know, man. You know, I can't wait. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Beauty. It's a roller. Yeah, we're definitely. Hey, did that come with it? That's the way. Did that come with it? Actually, the engine is sitting in my door yet. Oh man. Yeah, it's a it's a '92 GTI. So this is the green one. This is going to end up on the uh, on the electrified classic side. And the red one, ironically sourced out of California, is gonna end up at the, on Just, the gas side. Yep. <laughs> it has uh, the anti theft devices, that all the pedal. <laughs> Why yeah, is there so many pedals? Yeah, that third one, what's that for? What does that what do? <laughs> you reinvent, the, you don't have to reinvent the wheel, you just have to attach all the wheels in there, that's all. Good, we're getting GM parts too. I drove this exact same car, same color, VR6 big turbo, and it was it's so light that it just scared you with power. <laughs> well, that's what they were. They were light and fast. That's why they call them rabbits. We talked about on our other GTI how that one's most likely going to be getting some type of V8 swapped into it, LS, Hellcat motor. We're not sure yet. But this baby is going electric, and we're hoping it's going to have a Tesla 3 motor in it. It's gonna be a lot of work, but it's gonna be cool. So let me go into the detailed plan of what's gonna be going on with all these wires and this HVAC system. We're just gonna rip it all out. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> Weight reduction. Is that me? It's you. Come on. Am I getting called? Oh, on set. My name's Jing. I'm so pumped. Yeah, one of my five phones is oh. ringing. <laughs> oh, wait, hold Dr. on. Dr. Wayne calling. One of the options that might be for this is the body on frame. But looking at it, I mean, there's 20 ways to do things on a car for every aspect of a car. And one of the other things I'm thinking, too, is like um, we're going to be taking possibly either body on frame or we're going to have subframes. And we're going to take a subframe from who knows what and it's going to be shoved up in this thing. Kind of trying to look up like some last night, you know, swaps that people have done in the past and whatnot. And that's kind of what I was finding more was that, you know custom rear subframes. Luckily for us, the first biggest step with these projects is these cars just gotta get torn apart. And as you can see, I mean, this one's on a rotisserie. We're already 
pretty much there with the teardown on this, luckily. That saved a lot of time. Yeah. We're already stripped out. We're ready to uh, get cut in pretty soon, I'd say. But we gotta figure out how we're gonna be able to fit a Tesla 3 in this GTI. With that being said, we're gonna start looking for a donor Tesla Model 3. So if any of you guys out there know of someone with a wrecked Model 3, hit me up. Go to EVG Wars Instagram, DM us, leave a comment, Small anything. Signal. Morse code, possibly. Yeah. <laughs> Send us the Carfax. <gasps> no! The build starts today. <laughs>